Uh, welcome. Thanks for tuning in with us today, guys, with Sail on the Road. Today we're here with Alex uh, in the beautiful city of Orlando, Florida. Uh, Alex is the owner of Veritas Tactical. How are you, Alex? Good, man. Good to see you again. Thanks for having us. Um, Alex, tell us a little bit about yourself and, uh, and what Veritas Tactical is to you. Uh, Veritas Tactical is, uh, we started in 2015. Uh, my uh, background is from law enforcement. I retired uh, from here locally from the Orange County Sheriff's Office. And after I retired, I did a couple other things and then I, my passion has always been guns. And my passion has really been into building guns, creating uh, different, uh, you know, designs and stuff. And I, I just, it pulled me back into it. I kind of felt I would never do it again. And then uh, 2015, I, I, it was kind of a story where I told my wife, I said, hey, I was working a detail and right. some private security. And I said, uh, if I get a, a bonus this year and uh, you know I'm gonna say a prayer and if that bonus comes in I'm gonna go look at locations nice you know and sure enough you know the location I had looked at which was not this originally but looked at was still available after I'd seen it and the bonus check came in nice you know so she's like what are you gonna do you know so uh, you, you know yeah pretty much so it was time to you know really pull the trigger on it so we started a small uh, you know operation I did uh, the first uh, builds off of there and uh, we got on online. Meanwhile, I was, uh, my pet project was some of the stuff you've seen, the real short uh, guns. And um, uh, once I kind of figured and got it down to where I was content with it, knowing that it would work, uh, we released uh, a picture of it at a SHOT Show from some friends. And next thing you know, it pretty much blew up and it kind of took off from there. Uh, so that's kind of been really our, our niche in the market right. is a short uh, rifle caliber uh, guns and barrels. Uh, so we just uh, took off from there and then um, I wanted to get a little bigger location. So this is where we're at now, this new location here. Uh, but we do, uh, you know, Cerakoting, laser engraving, obviously, uh, gunsmithing. We do custom builds for people. We do a line of guns for, um, for Boone, uh, which is uh, Dave Boone Benton, one of the guys from Benghazi. Uh, a couple other uh, guns that we build for local law enforcement. Right. Uh, so we've been around, you know, kind of diversify a little sure. bit. We do training here. Uh, we have our own podcast, uh, but as far as my background, it came from that. I've been around guns since I was a little kid. Yeah. Uh, my brother and my uncle took me out shooting, and I was hooked. Yeah. Um, and my whole it thing sucks was you in. yeah, it was one of those things where I, I just I, I enjoyed it. And then from there, it wasn't just shooting; it was taking the guns apart and can I put them back together? Right. Even at a very young age. Uh, I told my brother the story years later that I took his guns apart, put them back together, and he goes, "Well, I never noticed." I go, "Well, you would have, it would have worked. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it would have functioned." Uh, but uh, that's that's kind of where it all started. And I, I've been with guns pretty much, uh, you know, all my life working on them. And uh, ARs have been a thing I've worked on for many years when there wasn't the parts that we have today, right. or even the technology that we have today. Right. Um, so experimenting with different stuff again. Trying to make guns shorter, trying to make them, uh, you know, function. Uh, but so that's that's pretty much where it all started. And um, you know, as the industry changes, we try to change with it and try to you know come up and stay you know with what's going on. Obviously, we have a whole lot of things right now, right. With all kinds of legislation and uh, the things the ATF wants to do. So we're kind of right now, like everybody else in the industry, kind of waiting to see, see which way we're going to go. Up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you, I was actually fortunate enough to see Alex's company in somewhat of its infancy uh, when Alex had come in for training. Uh, we actually engraved his first, your first ever laser engraved, personally marked barrel yeah. um, for the company, which is what he, one of the uh, intentions he had for the laser when he came to train. And uh, I actually got to stay with that barrel. Um, I, yeah. I kept bugging I Alex, kept, 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 kept bugging <laughs> Alex, kept bugging him, bugging him, bugging him throughout class. He said, you know what, man, just I'll leave this one here with you. And uh, so it was a pretty cool experience um, throughout the throughout the, the years that he's been out. What is it, two years now? Uh, total has been uh, six years. Yeah, we after, came out, after laser After though? you guys, yeah, two years. Two years, yeah. Um, it's been two years now, and in that, that amount of time, uh, they, they've grown tremendously. Uh, he brought on um, Young. Young. Yeah. Young. Young also came to train with us. Uh, Young is their Seracote applicator. Um, shout out to you wherever you're at, Young. <laughs> um, but yeah, these guys are, are producing something that even I was extremely skeptical about, about 
uh, when he first came in. He was like, yeah, we're producing little short ARs. It's like, like surely that's not going to function. Uh, you know, we, we, in the industry, being industry individuals, we had seen the pigtail uh, gas tube that was supposed to allow you to produce a, a you know, a shorter barrel and, and still get the dwell time and things of the sort. And I was like, there's no way, there's no way this thing is cycling. There's no way. And I, I literally grilled him on, I think day one when he <laughs> came in about the, yeah. the gun. There's no way, there's no way. Um, and then he starts showing videos, you know, they're doing full auto mag dumps out of these things and they're hitting paper, you know, at a hundred yards, like in a solid group. And uh, I guess at that point, I literally had no more argument, you know, <laughs> it was uh, it's, kind of. It's spending a lot of time, Rick, uh, you know, educating people on it. Not sure. saying that, not saying that you didn't know any better or whatever, right. just saying that, you know, in the industry for so long, you heard nothing under 10.5, nothing sure. under 10.5. Um, and there's a couple of things that get that went into it to make it what it is, but it, it, it can't happen for the application that we designed it for. It, it works, yeah. you know. And they, they function, I'll tell you, I own, um, I think every caliber that Alex puts out right now, except for the 762 by 39, by yeah. 39 um, and every single one of them function flawlessly, they run flawlessly, and they're all amazing weapons. Uh, Alex's 556 is actually what's my truck gun. Uh, so, pretty cool little thing, uh, we'll put a picture up of it. Um, so Alex, what do you see in the future? Is there any any part of the line in the the rifle line that's gonna that come out? I know we briefly mentioned something. I don't know if it's uh... well, we're working on uh, another uh, model for the Ascari line, which okay. is the one we do for uh, for Boone. For Boone. Uh, we're gonna come up with another size, uh, and our plan is to put out a, a model, let it run probably for a year, year and a half, and then we'll go into something else. And that kind of model is like a one of basically. Oh, cool. It'll be a limited run on those. Uh, the nine millimeter stuff you saw, we just introduced the VT9s, which are the forged version of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the VT94 being the, the, the billet. Right. Um, we're looking at doing another caliber. Uh, we've been playing around with a 10. Yeah. Uh, we're just waiting on some things. Unfortunately, last year put a wrench on a lot of, you know, uh, materials and certain things coming in. Right. Uh, so that's still in the books. And, uh, we, we've gotten. About halfway there, uh, sure. a little over halfway, um, and then uh, we're going to do some offers from different sizes of 762 by 39. Um, same thing with the 308s. The 308s were in the in the book for right. coming up, and it all falls. Right. Hopefully, end of this year, not, not first quarter next year. That's what I'm waiting for. The so 308s. Uh, we're going to do some short 308s as well. Um, we may jump around and do some 65 Creed more at the same time with that, but you know we're still working on that, and then. Uh, we got some uh, 12 gauge plans on some stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's this is actually news to me. Believe it or not, <laughs> he just sprung this one on me. Well, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, as far as the laser goes, it, you know, do you feel like it was it, it was everything that was meant to be? The laser, uh, you know, again, I was very skeptical because I'm not a computer guy. Right. Right. I'm not an IT guy. I'm not a graphics guy. I'm not a so you know. The reason I went with you guys, you know, I, I looked and did all, looked at all the reviews, and it came with, you know, uh, the package with the training, which is right. very crucial. Um, I had gone to see other laser companies, and even one here in, in Central Florida, and basically they said, well, this is what it can do, and we'll teach you how to run the machine, but, you know, nowhere near what you guys offer. Right. Um, so, and it was like, yeah, okay. So I, I took a dive, and it's been everything and more than I expected, especially the, um, the support group. You know, right. you can get on there and ask a question on the Facebook group, and not only you guys pipe up, but everybody else that has experience with that. It's a great community when it comes to that. Right. Uh, everybody's helpful. There's been files that have been shared uh, for free. Right. Uh, files, you know, and guy, other guys will have certain products. Uh, so it's been, for me, for not being a computer person, it's been a great um, investment. Right. It comes basically ready to use. It's almost, I say foolproof, because I can screw anything up, but um, <laughs> it, yeah, you know, you've gotten the phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it really it really came out and it, it really has helped to do what we wanted to do. A lot of it was doing our branding on all of our, our, our parts. Um, we still do the Glocks and we still do other parts and, and they come in, but it was really crucial to be able to get on there, get on the parts that I needed, type it in, very, very user friendly, right. you know, which is the, the key part for me it was. 
Um, so yeah, it's been everything and more than I expected. It has brought extra revenue, you know, for other stuff. You know, we we then started doing, you know, advertising, laser engraving for other stuff as well. So we've been getting some work from that. Uh, so yeah, it's cool. it's been it's been great in that sense. And again, the continuous support um, from you guys and everybody else is key. I mean, that it's huge. I see some of the other. Uh, you know, groups out there, you know, and it's almost like they're, you know, uh, waiting like sharks in the water, uh, you know, for that person to come up and pipe about something where they can either attack them or, or try to sell them something. Right. Uh, you know, it's nothing like here. Of course, there are some barbs that, you know, throw them back and forth sure. in the group for fun. Sure. Uh, but it is very, very uh, helpful and informative. That's good. Well, I appreciate that, the, the kind words. Uh, you know, we try to, we try to make that support group the you know, the best that we can and, and get you guys all the answers as soon as we can. Um, one thing you guys don't know back home is it's it's about 8 30 9 o'clock and Alex actually decided to uh, hang out and wait for us because we had a whole fiasco happen um, but it's it's something that we we uh, Alex personally Alex and I have a relationship that I, I, I consider Alex a brother of mine um, any time we're at a show where we're both there, we, we meet up, uh, we link up, we message each other on a constant basis and it, it becomes almost like a family. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it just, it, it's something that, uh, that I hope you guys appreciate. Absolutely. Um, well, we went to training, uh, you know, went to lunch with you guys, you know, Fred, Melissa, I mean, Melissa from day one on the phone, you know, Kind of walking me through everything uh, very informative it was very like like she'd known me before right and very you know uh very uh, sweet on the phone and, and you know getting uh, the process and getting the financing and all that stuff you know the, the travel everything from day one was you know was great uh, again with you guys down to earth uh going to lunch and talking the class was fun um a lot to learn my yeah. brain was going in circles <laughs> but it was still fun so you made yeah, it absolutely. out absolutely absolutely right. but yeah it was uh, it, it becomes becomes a, another you know family in the industry sure you know absolutely well cool so Alex your products you know you guys are putting out these super awesome little shorties um, is there any you know any events coming up that people can check your stuff out or yeah you know being that everything's coming back slowly after COVID right uh, we're planning on SHOT Show uh, for anybody here local we're doing the SWAT roundup in November okay which is an annual uh, event you know SWAT competition cool uh, so we'll be there uh, demonstrating as well along with Hall of Sun and ba uh, Best Night Lives uh, but yeah uh, far forward is you know SHOT Show is what we're kind of like gearing up for sure. you know, the next big show uh, if it does happen um, so <laughs> we kinda, hope yeah we hope uh, with all the stuff going on but yeah that's those are our next probably three big shows that we got coming up and kind of excited to get back out there and see yeah. people and uh, you know the industry partners as well for sure you guys gotta if you're in the in the area you've got to get in to check these things out um, it's it's something that, it's something we're seeing I promise you one of my one of my favorite ARs again my go-to it's my truck gun it, it travels with me everywhere so Definitely, if you have the time, check them out. I appreciate it.